but winds with mean speeds of 41 to 62 kilometers per hour are expected. At 2 a.m., Typhoon Ellen was centered about 150 kilometers south of Hong Kong and is forecast to move northwest at about 10 kilometers per hour towards western Guangdong. Unless Ellen moves more towards the north and comes closer to Hong Kong than expected, it will not be necessary to hoist the number 8 gale or storm signal. At 2 a.m., the center of Typhoon Ellen was near 21.0 degrees north and 113.9 degrees east. The weather forecast is forecast to be mainly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms in the western part of the island. Typhoon Ellen is expected to be moving south-southwest in the 11:39. 预料向西北移动，时速大约十公里，直吹广东西部。南吹旋风十二级，后转吹东至东南风八至九级，有频密狂风骤雨，可有极巨浪。吹东风八级，阵风十级。This means that winds with mean speeds of 41 to 62 kilometers per hour are expected. At 5 a.m., Typhoon Ellen was centered about 150 kilometers south southwest of Hong Kong, and is forecast to move northwest at 8 kilometers per hour towards western Guangdong. In the past few hours, Typhoon Ellen has slowed down slightly to about 8 kilometers per hour. If the present movement is maintained, Ellen will pass about 130 kilometers to the southwest of Hong Kong around noon, and cross the coast of Guangdong about 80 kilometers west of Macau in the evening. For most of today, winds locally will remain strong and gusty, reaching gale force at times offshore. Therefore, general precautions against strong winds should continue to be taken. Stay tuned to Commercial Radio for further information on Ellen. If you're plotting the course, the center of Typhoon Ellen at 5 a.m. was near 21.0 degrees north, 113.8 degrees east. Four strong, gusty, easterly winds reaching gale force at times offshore. It will be cloudy with some scattered squally showers, the maximum temperature around 27 degrees. Outside, 25 degrees Celsius, relative humidity 88%. Tropical cyclone warning issued at 7.15 by the Royal Observatory. The strong wind signal number 3 is hoisted. This means that winds with mean speeds of 41 to 62 kilometers per hour are expected. At 7 a.m., Typhoon Ellen was centered about 150 kilometers south-southwest of Hong Kong and is forecast to move northwest at 8 kilometers per hour towards western Guangdong. Ellen continues to remain of typhoon intensity, but as it comes closer to land, it was slowed down slightly and is now moving at around 8 kilometers per hour. Ellen has maintained a northwest movement overnight and is now showing signs of weakening. On Ellen present course, on Ellen's present course and speed, it will be closest to Hong Kong around midday today, passing about 130 kilometers to our southwest. Winds offshore, winds locally will remain strong and gusty and reaching gale force at times offshore. Precautions to protect your home and property should not be relaxed. Stay tuned to Commercial Radio for fur further weather broadcasts and do not telephone the Royal Observatory for weather information. It's essential that all communication links from the Royal Observatory be kept free for the dissemination of tropical cyclone warnings. Engineers, architects and contractors are again reminded that all scaffoldings, hoardings and temporary buildings should be checked for security. Fishing vessels in typhoon shelters should remain there where they are for the time being. Check again that all deck fittings are firmly fastened. If available, heavy anchors should be prepared and used in addition to regular anchors. If you're plotting the course of Typhoon Ellen, at 7 a.m. the center was near 21.1 degrees north, 113.7 degrees east. 15 by the Royal Observatory. Strong wing signal number 3 is hoisted. This means that winds with mean speeds of 41 to 62 kilometers per hour are expected. At 8 a.m., Typhoon Ellen was centered about 150 kilometers south-southwest of Hong Kong and is forecast to move northwest at about 8 kilometers per hour towards western Guangdong. Typhoon Ellen continues to move in a northwest direction at a speed of 8 kilometers per hour. Satellite pictures indicate that Ellen is beginning to weaken now that it is near land. The rain bands associated with the circulation of Ellen are now affecting Hong Kong, but the rain is not expected to be very intense. Winds will continue to be strong and very gusty in all areas, so you are and so you should not relax your precautions. These windy conditions are expected to continue for the rest of today. 
Ellen is expected to be closest to Hong Kong around noon when it will be about 130 kilometres southwest of us. Stay tuned to Commercial Radio for further weather broadcasts. Please do not telephone the Royal Observatory for weather information. Engineers, architects and contractors are again reminded that all scaffoldings, hoardings and temporary buildings should be checked for security. Fishing vessels in typhoon shelters should remain where they are for the time being. Check again, all deck fittings are firmly fastened. If available, heavy anchors should be prepared and used in addition to regular anchors. If you're plotting the course of Typhoon Ellen at 8 o'clock, the centre was near 21.1 degrees north, 113.6 degrees east. Well, cyclone warning issued at 10.15 this morning by the Royal Observatory. The strong wind signal number 3 is hoisted. This means that winds with mean speeds of 41 to 62 kilometres per hour are expected. At 10 o'clock, Typhoon Ellen was centred about 160 kilometres south-southwest of Hong Kong and is forecast to move west-northwest at 8 kilometres per hour. Over the past couple of hours, Typhoon Ellen has turned onto a more west-northwest course and is beginning to move away from Hong Kong. However, winds over the territory continue to be strong and very gusty. Ellen continues to move at about 8 kilometres per hour and remains of typhoon intensity. The rain associated with Ellen is not very intense. At 10 o'clock this morning, the centre of Typhoon Ellen was near 21.1 degrees north, 113.4 degrees east. The latest tropical cyclone warning issued at 12.15 by the Royal Observatory. The strong wind signal number three is hoisted. This means that winds with mean speeds of 41 to 62 kilometers per hour are expected. At noon, Typhoon Ellen was centered at about 160 kilometers southwest of Hong Kong and is forecast to move west and northwest at eight kilometers per hour. Ellen has continued to move on a west-northwest track during the morning and is moving away from Hong Kong at about eight kilometers per hour. The surge of the northeast monsoon that has been interacting with Typhoon Ellen will now become the dominant feature over Hong Kong and keeping the local winds strong. Although Hong Kong will be moving out of circulation of Ellen, the weather will remain cloudy and overcast with some squally showers at first. On its present course, the speed Ellen is expected to make landfall over western Guangdong tomorrow morning. Stay tuned to Commercial Radio for further weather broadcasts. It is not yet uh, safe for small craft and fishing vessels to leave typhoon shelters. At noon, at the, the center of Typhoon Ellen was near 21.1 degrees north, 113.3 degrees east, over the western Pacific to the east of the central Philippines. The forecast for this afternoon and tonight, strong gusty easterly winds reaching gale force at times offshore, overcast with occasional squally showers. At noon at the Royal Observatory, the air temperature was 25 degrees Celsius, the relative humidity 94%。香港及汕頭以南吹颶風,南澳以南及海南島東南沿岸吹強風,天氣開放,在中午,颱風愛倫集結在北緯21.1度,東京113.3度附近,並預料向西北偏西移動,時速8公里,直吹廣東省
Another surge of the northeast monsoon is expected to reach the South China coastal area tonight, keeping the local winds fresh to strong tomorrow. The weather will remain cloudy tonight and tomorrow with some rain at first. Keep listening to the radio or watching television for further weather checks. Don't relax and take in precautions as strong winds are still blowing and unsecured objects may be blown down and it is not yet safe for small craft and fishing vessels to leave typhoon shelters. The weather forecast for this afternoon and tonight, as a consequence it is for it will be overcast with occasional squally showers, strong gusty easterly winds reaching gale force at times offshore. Temperature outside at the moment 25 degrees, humidity 96%.